My name is Lokesh Joshi. I'm Vice President for Research at the National University of Ireland, Galway. So innovation actually is, is, the, is the DNA of our region, of our university. Um, I come from Galway, which is a city of about 80,000 people. Quarter of those people are based in the university or higher education sector. Another quarter are in high tech industry. And that really creates an ecosystem and environment to be innovative, to work together to find solutions, to look for opportunities, to be aware of the threats in the society and work together. That's something we can do that helps the society locally and globally. I think it's absolutely important that universities across the globe focus on innovation and innovative solutions for the society now. We are at the beginning of 21st century. There are several opportunities and there are also several threats. And one way to address those opportunities threats will be to work together and also to allow our brilliant young minds to find solutions for the society they'll be living in. So really universities have the responsibility, all the leaders, whether in business, in economy, politics, will go to university, are going to university, so that innovation mindset is very important in everybody for the future. In our university, in the National University of Ireland, Galway, we are really driven by facilitating innovation hubs or innovation uh, culture across the university. We not only focus on our superstar researchers or high achievers, we really think that innovation is part of our human nature. We like to find solutions. We want in the right environment. So we have specific programs, both in curricular activities and extracurricular activities for undergraduates, for postgraduates, for postdocs, as well as established researchers to work together or work with staff and faculty. We have 18,000 students and 2,500 faculty members and staff members. We work together to find solutions, but we also have specializations, whether it's in climate change and energy, whether it's in ICT, data analytics, or med tech, or social sciences, so it's really working together to find solutions. And we have several programs in the university. I can give an example of maybe one or two programs. There's a program called BioInnovate. And BioInnovate is a program where we have three to four young entrepreneurs, graduate student, and a business person, and a clinician. They come together. They work in the clinic. They see where the challenges are in the clinic, in the clinician's environment. They go back to their lab, and they try to find solutions. And that has led to literally, I would say, about half a dozen to eight startup companies that are very successful. And they also then work with larger companies to find a route to market and venture capital funds. So this really allows us to create that kind of environment. We also have Tech Innovate, where graduate students and business people work together to find solutions in technology applications, whether it is in agriculture, environment, data analytics. So there are several programs in the university that allow us to do that. In the research innovation ecosystem in the university, or domain of the university, we really focus on three principles. First is the purpose, second is people, third is the place. And purpose to us is very important. I think it's important for human beings to live a purposeful life, for society to have a purpose. And our purpose is to really allow our people to bring the best they can and give them the best we can so they can be valuable to society in terms of their knowledge, their technology, their ideas, and their policies, et cetera. And we also care for our people, and we have brilliant minds in our university, but we're also here to serve the people of the community of the globe. And the place is important to us. We are in a beautiful part of the world, but we're also very committed to solving solution problems or finding solutions for European and global issues as well.